Welcome to the Canvas overview video for the IT Systems 1 class. Uh, this is the Canvas homepage for the IT Systems 1 class. It looks very similar to all your other Canvas homepages, um, except this one says IT Systems 1 and has my name here. Uh, you can click right here on my email address to send me an email. You're also welcome to call me at this number. Uh, this will go right to voicemail. But if you do leave me a voicemail, I will get an email with your voicemail in the email. And so that works as well. Uh, these are the same eight buttons that you see on your other Canvas courses. The last five of them go to places other than this Canvas course. Um, the calendar button goes to your Canvas calendar. So we will focus on the daily agenda um, button and the course materials button. So let's start with the daily agenda. When you click on the daily agenda, you'll be taken to a Canvas page for the current topic in the current unit. So since we're just getting started, this is the first topic in the first unit, um, and it's an introduction uh, to operating systems. And so there will always be a daily targets do now in homework slide. Um, so you can see what's going on for that particular day. Um, and that will be updated for each day of class. Below that is a to-do list, um, and the to-do list will enumerate specific tasks for specific days. So on Tuesday, you'll do this, and then when it's Wednesday, you'll see Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Monday and so on and so forth. There will also be a section for extra practice um, and a section for extension resources as well. I do include a legend at the bottom of each of these pages. Um, because I use different icons to help give you a context clue as to what that particular task involves. So the magnifying glass lets you know that you'll be reading or watching something. The globe is for a whole class activity. The conversation bubble is for a small group activity. The person icon for a solo task. The pencil for a formative assessment to complete on your own. The checklist for a summative assessment to complete on your own. Let's go back to the home page um, and see where we go when we click on the course materials button. When we click on the course materials button, we're taking to the Canvas module. Specifically, we're taken to the introduction and resources Canvas module. Um, this module has some direct links to useful things like our classroom Zoom, our Zoom expectations and tips, a different link to the office hour Zoom, um, some course resources, a whole page of different resources, the detailed syllabus, a link to our online textbook. Uh, but let's specifically look at the Getting Started at a Glance page. The Getting Started at a Glance page is a really important page here at the beginning um, because it outlines exactly how I'm gonna communicate and how the course is structured, um, as well as different expectations uh, for, for you in the course as well. So in terms of communication, here I'm sharing that all the course updates are going to be done as daily updates to those uh, daily targets due now and homework slides, um, as well as updates to the to-do list in the page um, for each section of each unit, much like we just saw. Um, more irregular updates, often not directly related to the course, but perhaps about other resources or opportunities. I'll post these announcements in Canvas, which you can click here to get to. You can click in the left sidebar and they'll also show up at the top of the home page. During class, communication will be via Zoom, whether we're working as a whole class or in small groups, pairs, or on our own. Um, we'll, we'll discuss our Zoom expectations, and hopefully you'll contribute to those and to the tips. Um, I will have a playlist for each unit with recordings primarily of our, our whole class um, activities. If Zoom is down for some reason, I have a backup link here to my Google Meet room instead and we can use that. After class, questions are best asked in the Google chat for this class. Um, I or other students, including you, are welcome to respond to each other's messages. That usually is the fastest option. Um, if the communication is personal or private in some way, it should be done via email. Uh, we can have one-on-one -on -one meetings and, and assistance during the office hours um, on Zoom, which I will post weekly um, on Canvas as well. Um, I relish feedback. I love feedback. Um, I prefer you email it to me or we discuss it um, like the, in Zoom. Um, however, if you uh, are more comfortable providing it anonymously, I'd rather have it anonymously than not at all. So you're welcome to provide it that as well. 
In terms of expectations, you can expect to access everything you need via various Canvas modules. We'll look at one for our first unit here in just a moment. This section explains how I've organized Canvas. Each module corresponds to a unit of study. Each module is further divided into sections where each section corresponds to a major concept within a unit. At the start of each section is a page like the one we viewed earlier um, that has all those different elements on it. I will make a point of assigning due dates to each assignment. This makes them show up nicely in your Canvas calendar. Uh, you may find that your Canvas calendar and your Canvas dashboard to-do list are really helpful during e-learning um, and always because they're the only places where assignments from all of your classes are aggregated. Here I have links so you can learn more about uh, the Google, the Google, the Canvas calendar and the Canvas dashboard and to-do lists and how you can use and customize those. What I expect from you each day is at the start of class, you'll join our Zoom. You'll review the current page like the one we saw earlier, specifically take a look at what the daily targets do now and homework slide says and what's on, what are the tasks on our to-do list. At the bottom here, I have some links for quick access to various resources. Let's take a look at one of those modules. So if I click on modules in the sidebar and collapse the introduction module, we can look at the Unit 3 Operating Systems module. We will actually be starting with Unit 3 because it's most appropriate for e-learning. At the top of each module is a section called Unit Resources with links to resources for the entire unit. That includes, again, the daily targets and homework, um, a note sheet, and a link to our YouTube playlist. Below that are pages for each section of that unit. <coughs> Excuse me. In this unit, we have an introduction section, um, we have a Windows installation section, we have a command line interface section, and we have a Windows utility section. After each section are various assignments to be completed as part of that, um, that particular topic of study. At the end of the module um, are some review resources, and below that are the summative assessments as well. I hope that you have found this uh, video introduction to our Canvas course helpful. Please don't hesitate to contact me with any questions um, or to share suggestions on how I can make it better. Thank you so much.